Hi everyone, this is Kamal from Extreme Excel Group. In this video tutorial, I will be explaining how to sort numbers in a particular order or uh, let's say you need to get nth highest number or nth lowest number and we'll be do playing with a couple of numbers. So first of all, I am taking a few numbers here randomly and I'm putting it in column A. Now let's say I need to first sort these numbers in descending order. So what I'll be using a very straightforward formula. We have a function in built. We need not worry about something uh, that we need to build here. We'll be using large function. We need to specify the array where, uh, out of which uh, I need to find uh, the largest number. This function basically return you the largest uh, nth number. And the second parameter is the index. Uh, like if I specify 1 that means the first highest number if I specify 2 it gives me second highest number out of this array so if I track this formula uh, to the bottom uh, I'll be getting nth highest uh, I mean the numbers in descending order but I won't be putting 1 2 3 or hard coding these numbers rather I'll be uh, making them parameterized or generalized so because this first value is in row 5 so I keep it as row minus 4 that will give me 1 for first and likewise so now this formula is generalized and I can drag it down and this will work for all so this is how we have all these numbers in descending order now let's say I need to arrange these in ascending order again we have a function uh, by the name uh, small or, or if you want if you don't want to use that particular function you can achieve the same using large function by uh, just uh, uh, because here initially we started with one two three and if you use large function for ascending you need to start from the bottom and uh, come downward like 10 9 8 7 but here we'll be first using small function so small and then you need to specify the array uh, and then the index so I am straightforward uh, parameterizing it in terms of row numbers so row minus 4 will give me 1 2 3 and likewise so here we have these numbers in ascending order now by using large function I, as I told so large and then you need to again specify the array but now here the value of k or the index won't be 1 but it would be the last number and I need to come down to 1 like if we have 10 numbers then I need to start from 10 9 8 7 6 and like that but here uh, uh, if I see that we have uh, data up to 21st row so what if I put uh, see you need to make a series or a formula that gives me numbers in this uh, decreasing order so 24 minus 4 will give me what it will give me 17 and what if I uh, in place of 24 uh, what do you think of just you need to build a logic here so row 4 because 4 uh, we have 4 rows on the top so I'm deleting this 4 and keeping row number here so 20, 21 minus uh, row number that would be uh, what uh, that would be uh, 17 plus 1 18 so we'll get 18 first and then for the next it will be 24 21 minus row number would be 6 at that time and plus 1 so likewise we'll be descending and in the last cell we'll be having first value so you can see that both uh, the formulas that we have placed in column D or E gives us same result so you can use any of these now next is uh, if you need to uh, get nth highest number uh, we have uh, done it uh, uh, right now uh, like if I ask you to uh, return me the highest number you can straight away use large function and give me the index number or if I ask you to give fifth highest number you can straight away say that this is my array and comma index number is 5 this will give you this fifth highest number same goes for the small and likewise let's see how we do it so the range again I need to update from a5 up to a21 
So we have 16 values and uh, 17 values and like this or in place of this if you want to use uh, all right so there is another way of achieving this if you don't want to uh, use large function you can use uh, match and index on our sorted result so let's say we have a number set we first sort it in descending order and then I'll be using index function to return me fifth index value from that array so this is how I can achieve that this is pretty much uh, about this video uh, please uh, keep on watching our tutorials and keep subscribing to our videos thank you goodbye